Welcome everyone. In this video I'm going to follow up on our previous uh, tutorial about Olama, which is an application that lets you download and run large language models offline uh, locally on your computer. Uh, in this video I'm going to take a look at uh, a few ways that you can use Olama from the command line. So let's dive right into it. So basically uh, one of the ways that you can use an Olama uh, large language model is that you can run a llama run and then you can type the name of the model that you have installed and downloaded otherwise Olama will try to download this model before opening up a um, shell uh, through which you can send your messages so now you can ask questions and then of course you can get some responses um, on our previous videos we showed quite a a few ways that you can connect to the Olama server running either through command line or through an API or, or through programming language. In this video I'm going to just focus on the uh, command line uh, interface. Let me start by uh, the simplest way that we can use which is to input uh, a text prompt from the standard in from the terminal so you can run a model, ask a question, get a response back, and then that's it. You don't have like a long running interface with the LLM. So uh, the simplest command is this one. So you can write llama, run, you can pick the model. Now you can take a look at the models that are available uh, locally. So I have quite a few models downloaded. Uh, so you pick one of the models that you have installed. Uh, I will use or llama. 3.1 and then you ask your questions of course and then you get the answer and you get back uh, to the uh, to the terminal so the llama uh, just returns back gives back um, access to your terminal after you get the answer um, so that's a, a simple uh, input from the start that end. Now there are oftentimes um, uh, you need the way to a way to supply multi-line text. So basically, when you uh, open up the terminal, uh, the, the, the terminal version, and you want to chat uh, and you want to paste some long like text or maybe multi-line uh, messages. Uh, like in here, I have a CSV file and I want to paste this CSV file in here uh, and then ask a question. So if I try to do this like this, so um, uh, can you uh, translate the months in this CSV into Greek? And then I want to paste like the, uh, the CSV, so I press enter or shift enter. You can see I pressed shift enter and you know, uh, it just gave, immediately get a response back. It sends my, my question. Now, if I press Control V to paste the text, um, you'll see uh, I get a response back. But there's actually a better way to, to do this uh, and more reliable, which is to uh, just enter the, uh, the three double um, uh, quotes. And now you see you can uh, add multi-line input so basically you can ask question you can press enter this is will not uh, send the, the question or the prompt uh, after you press enter so you can say can you translate the following csv column month into greek and um, give me give me back a uh, csv text so I can press enter, I can now paste the content, I can still press enter and I can uh, use the three double quotes again to just conclude my question and have the LLM respond to this. So now I can press enter and I will get like the CSV. So if you want to use like uh, multi-line messages, meaning pressing enter without feeling that you will uh, just send your response, the enter will trigger the uh, sending the, the sorry the question to the LLM, you can use the uh, three double quotes. So that's another way. And now I'm going to switch off the uh, this interface. And 
now I will uh, go to the next tip, which is how to you you can input, uh, you can provide an input from a file. So right now I have this text. Uh, this is the text file, uh, and one of the ways that I can pass this is the to the Alama through the terminal and get back a response is using the pipe operator. So in this case, I'm, well, I'm going to use another file. This is a text which contains the quick brown fox, uh, you know, um, that sentence. So I want to pass this text in, as an input to Llama and get back a response. So using the pipe operator, I'm going to use a command, a terminal command called cat, which is a way to just display uh, a file in the terminal. Uh, you can also use it for like um, air travel. Now I have installed on my terminal a um, kind of like more advanced version of CAT, which lets you uh, see the files in a uh, with a, a sort of like a syntax highlighting. So this is not the ordinary text, uh, you know, uh, normal CAT version but uh, the normal version will work just as well. So if you see something different in your terminal, it's because I'm using a more improved uh, CAT version that allows me to see these colored outputs. But um, when I use the CAT with a file, I can see the contents of the files. Now, if this command gives me uh, the contents of the files, I can use the pipe operator to pass the contents of this command, the output of this command, into the next command. This is what the pipe operator um, is actually doing. Uh, so now I'm going to say, uh, just give me the contents of the uh, of the fox.txt file, and then pass this as an input to the next command. So the next command will be running uh, an LLM through a llama, and then asking to translate Mm, let's see. So we get like the the German um, uh, version of this of this phrase. I can also try another language. Let's see. So that's um, a cool way that you can pass an input to a llama through the pipe operator. And of course, you can use other um, uh, cool tricks. I will show you. Uh, a, a trick that you can use later on with a pipe operator. So that's one way that you can get the contents of a file uh, through the pipe operator. We can also use the redirection operator, which is this guy here. Uh, it basically does the same job uh, in, in the reverse ob, uh, order. So we run the first command and then we say you will accept as input uh, the input that you will get from the file um, on the right side of this operator. So basically, this is like saying, you know, input this into this command. Uh, this, of course, can be any file. So let's try this. We get uh, the, the same kind of like response back, the German translation of the, the quick brown fox Phrase. Um, we, I can also try this with the CSV. So please translate the months column of this CSV into Italian. And now I will uh, say, um, give me the inputs of the air travel CSV. And we have like this Italian version. So that's another way uh, through the redirection operator. Let me go to the next tip, which is that you can also consume web pages. So if you have a, a command like curl or wget, or there are many, many command line um, uh, tools that you can uh, download uh, web pages. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use curl, which is going to download these web pages and then pipe the result of this HTML page to um, an Alama command. Uh, this is just, uh, let me open this up um, here. So this is like a light version of CNN. So it contains uh, the, the news in a very lightweight uh, mode. So just plain HTML uh, with very lightweight CSS. Uh, so I'm going to download this using curl. Let's see what we get from the output of this command. 
Uh, you will see it's a HTML file that contains, you know, the, basically the web page. And now I'm going to pipe this. I'm going to turn this into an input to the next command. I'm going to pipe the output of this command, which is basically the, the HTML. Uh, pipe this into this command and give the instructions to this uh, Llama LLM to summarize the contents of this HTML page. Hopefully it will try to disregard like the HTML uh, programming language tags and just focus on the content. Uh, let's see what we get. So you will see the, 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 at the top you see the download of the, of the page and then now the LLM starts responding. So this is basically an article about tourism and responsible tourism practices and some problems um, that happen all around the world uh, with like uh, extreme like tourism and we get some uh, summary of the article um, and of course you can change your prompt so you can ask specific questions about the article for example is this related to Greece or Italy or, or Spain or some particular country so you can just use your imagination here uh, and also use some other um, LLM and try to find more information about uh, the contents of the of the web page. Um, for example, in the next command, I am downloading the same page and I'm trying to asking this to ask the LLM to find all the people and countries mentioned in this in this HTML page. Or let me just try uh, let's say all the people names. Um, now I'm running a like, kind of like a, a light version of Llama 3.1 so generally it's not giving me the more precise answers sometimes so the there is only one person name mentioned in this HTML page Francis now uh, that's not quite right uh, there is a person called Francis like the main character in this article is um, Justin Francis but there are other names included in this in this page um, at some point I, I found some other like um, uh, names for example this one so for some reason this uh, model this Olama model is not doing a great uh, job in uh, scanning this page for uh, full names you can use your prompt engineering skills here to uh, make this um, instruct the LLM to do a better job or you can use uh, a version of this model with uh, more parameters this kind of uh, actually the, the smallest one um, or you can use another model which is more powerful um, next I will go to another demo with the pipe operator and this time I'm going to be passing the output of one LM to another using two pipe operators so basically I'm going to run Olama uh, with uh, again the Llama model I'm going to ask it to give me a recipe for making scrambled eggs let's see what this uh, and you get like the ingredients the instructions and you know so forth so i'm going to turn this output of the first llm uh, uh, response into uh, the input of the second so and and i'm going to try the uh, i'm going to ask the second llm to to get this input get this uh, scrambled text recipe and translate it to german so let's see what we, we get back if we pipe this to guys together and it'll take a few seconds now we get the uh, the German translation of the uh, of the recipe as you can see the first input is is, is hidden from us it's just uh, immediately piped or uh, sent to the next command so we just see the uh, the last output the output of the last command and of course you can use as many pipe operators you know to to do silly or maybe useful stuff like you know llama run llama uh, summarize you know and, and so forth so have fun and, and see what you get um, now another interesting um, uh, thing that we can get out of a llama running in the terminal is that we can get we can write the output of the uh, Olama into a file so basically we can run Olama with any model and then instead of just uh, you know seeing the output in the in the terminal we can use the redirection operator once again this time is the right direction op um, operator which means that we 
get the output from the first command and write it on a file uh, on the on the um, on the right side. So let me first start with a txt. So now it's going to run the olama command and then grab all the output and save it on this file. So this is not going to uh, we're not going to see anything in the terminal in the standard output. Uh, this is just going to be saved in this file. Um, after this command is finished, we will probably see a uh, a new Europe TXT file locally. Okay, let's see what we get back. We get back this Europe TXT. Let me just see. Uh, we get a list of countries in Europe, uh, and there are also some. Wow, this is quite big. We get some other like um, useful notes. So all the output went into this file, and you now can uh, see the contents uh, on this Europe TXT. Uh, another cool feature of Olama is that certain models allow you to uh, output in a in a specific uh, format. So instead of a simple like text, we can set the output to be uh, JSON, for example. I'm going to change the extension to a JSON. That was pretty fast. So uh, let's see, we get a Europe JSON now. Uh, and if I try to output this, you'll see it's empty. So for some reason it's empty. Let me try the command again. Maybe that's a glitch. Um, that way it was way too fast. So, uh, okay, I see there's a problem, you know, um, using the JSON format. I will try one more time, see whether we come up with a, a proper... Okay, uh, Europe has 15 countries, and I, I will list them below, divided. So there's some problems, uh, some problem, as you can see here, with, with the output. Sometimes this can happen. Um, maybe this has something to do with a particular version of Llama that I'm using. It's kind of like the, uh, the smallest um, model from this family, and maybe the format is not supported. The last thing I'm going to show um, in this output into a file section is that you can also append to a file. So not only you can get the output of a Llama uh, response and save it in a file, but you can also append, um, run the command again, and then append uh, things to a file. So for this one, I'm going to use the redirection um, operator once again to grab the output of this command and save it in a, in a file called jokes.md. Now, if I run this, I will get a file called uh, jokes.md. Let's see what we got back. So there's a joke about programming. Now, if I run the command again, so this is a joke about arrays. Uh, let me run this again. This uh, operator will replace this file if it already exists. If it doesn't exist, it will create it from scratch. But if it exists, it will uh, it will not append. It will just uh, grab the content from content from this output and uh, save it in a file. But it will delete it before writing everything. So if I type jokes and D now, you will see like the file has been uh, completely replaced with a new joke. So we just kind of like uh, lost the, the last jokes, the last sorry, joke. Now, if we want to append to this file, we can use the double um, operator here. So this uh, will append a new joke to the uh, to the file. It will not replace the contents. So I will run it a couple of times just to get two more jokes. And then I'm going to run this. And we get one joke, uh, then we get another joke uh, here, and yeah, and we get another joke here, just appended at the at the bottom. Um, and of course, you can change your prompt so that, uh, for example, the uh, LLM adds some kind of like a, um, a trailing line or something to denote like the the end of the joke. So instead of seeing, you know, a full text here you say you know when you finish the joke just you know put a line here or some some um, uh, at the 
couple of new lines or something like this. So play around. Um, and the last command I want to show you is, is basically the verbose. Uh, this just gives you some extra information about what's happening um, during a, a response from the LLM. So I will run this without verbose, which is basically the response. And then if I use the verbose, I will get for the same response, but with a couple of um, details here about the total duration, about the tokens that were um, uh, sent and the tokens we got back and, and you know how long it took and so forth. So basically you can experiment with these commands and you can also discover other commands. You can always run Olama help to get uh, the available commands and then you can run uh, a command like uh, let's say uh, show and then help once again to see uh, help about that particular uh, command so you'll get the uh, available parameters and so forth so uh, help this um, I gave you some uh, nice ideas on, on how to try how to use Olama and how to try to uh, get input from uh, input uh, from from text files or from all sorts of files saving to a files uh, using the pipe operator to combine various commands together uh, as always um, please like and subscribe if you like this video and check our uh, youtube playlist for more videos uh, concerning like llms and um, other tools like olama thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next video